All right, guys, welcome back to episode number 21 of the Forza 4 Adventures with Aviator. Uh, hopefully, you guys are liking this quality. I'm not sure how it looks. I'm recording using Wirecast in my Black Magic Intensity Pro, and for some reason, I feel like it probably doesn't look as good as I want it to, but hopefully, it does. So, hey, what the heck? We'll keep trying here. This is a course. We're at the Iberian Circuit. A full circuit in reverse. We're gonna play with the let's see the M3. What's what's uh, do I have here? Affinity 75%, Affinity Random. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Mystery European Sedan Challenge, and uh, we'll go ahead and change this up here and pick our European Sedan. I think we're gonna rock with the Holden out right now. This Holden is supposed to be pretty darn awesome, and we all picked it together on the stream because you know what? It looked really pretty. And we like pretty cars. So guys, I hope you're enjoying this series. Obviously, it's kind of a long, drawn-out series. I've been trying to do uh, more daily videos here. I've actually been planning on doing some daily vlogs whenever I can't get a gameplay out, at least to let you guys know what's going on in my life and whatnot, because I'd like to get more viewers over here. I enjoy doing these daily videos. I enjoy the concept of them. I think they're fun to do. They're simple. And hey, to me, having something that's fun and simple to do in this YouTube environment where I work my living tail off on the littlest things sounds fantastic. But here we are. We're at the Iberion, I believe, or yeah, I'm not sure how you say that word, but anyway, we're there <laughs> on the reverse circuit. It's a one point something mile circuit. Should be a lot of fun to play on and or to race on. And we're going to start this thing off right now. Uh, man, the countryside is gorgeous there. I, you know, I never really had a huge desire to go to Spain until I started watching Top Gear and seeing all the different tracks they have in Spain. And I'm like, man, I want to go to there just because I want to go and spend time on those tracks because they look freaking wicked. As you guys can see here, I can't start to save my life because I wasn't paying attention, but it's okay. I'm back now. We're going to go ahead and jump in here, see what we can do. We're in sixth place to start this race off. We do have a nice, long right-hand corner coming up, and we're going to slow this thing down in advance. Slowing it down again, slowing it down again, slowing it down again. But we are back up in third place, second place, first place, baby. Cut all the way around by taking that corner really slow, but on the inside line, we were able to hop all the way up into first place. This is a surprisingly technical track with all the slight johns left and right, as you can see right here. This uh, this keeps it interesting. It makes that gate training pretty darn helpful from the autocross series. Let's we'll see if we're able to slide in here and get the power back in time. I did do so. Okay, I'm gonna come up here into the next little bend over the long breaking corner and might run off the track here. Might run off the track here. Oh, gonna clip the corner. Ooh, that's a big shift. All right, breaking. I'm so nervous here, man. It doesn't tell me like it doesn't tell me I have to break. I guess it thinks I'm going doing all right, but I feel like I'm just flying through these very very technical corners. All right, here we go again, all the way up the front straight. That's one lap, two laps out of five here in just a moment. That's a five lap race. There's a lot of things that I can do wrong in five laps. In case you guys haven't learned this about me, I am not the world's best race car driver as far as ra as far as uh, in real life or in video games. I'm better in real life. I'll have you guys know, but. Uh, in video games, I'm pretty shnikes. Oh, see? Like I say, pretty shnikes. Yep, that's the word. I'm trying to keep it PG here. <laughs> it's all right. Here we go, though. Keeping it push forward. Ah, shnikes. I ended that last corner when I went off the track. I ended up having to actually uh, tap the uh, the A button, the, uh, the emergency brake, in order to yank my nose forward because it would not slide. It wouldn't give me enough power off the rear wheels there in order to get my nose to come around. So I was just going to head, keep heading over there toward those walls. I actually just got air right there. That was pretty exciting. I probably have a little bit more speed than I need to have. We're going to go right here, clip this edge once again. That pushes me over. It actually works out pretty well. I think if you can control that bounce, you're pretty much in good shape. But uh, there's a pretty big bounce when you cut the, these edges because these uh, are some bumpy, 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 bumpy bumpers. Ah, there's some words for you. All right, coming across the front straight now. Second lap. Here comes the third lap. Third lap of five. Still leading the pack, but I don't have much of a lead at all. If I can keep this together, it'd be really nice. I am going to try to slow it down considerably more this time around in order to try my freaking darndest to stay ahead of these guys. And uh, I'm going to overshoot the track just a little bit there. Nope, didn't overshoot the track, but I did slow down way more than I should have in order to try to stay on the track. And that was probably the right choice, but daggummit, not what I wanted to do. Here we go. More of these funky, funky changes and bumps and bruises. Uh, ooh, break, break, break. And that was an interesting corner. <laughs> That's all right, though. I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode. I talked a little bit about Call of Community 2 that's coming up here soon. Uh, I actually have been working my heart and soul out at that for the last couple of weeks. And uh, it's it's an interesting thing to do, to bring that many people together to do something great. We actually opened it up to 512 uh, subscriber teams, people like you you know, or I, who would otherwise not be invited to be a part of this event. 
Uh, we now have an opportunity to be. And that filled up in the first two days. So we're opening up to 1,024 teams. And I'm pretty sure that will fill up too. It's unbelievable how many people have been excited about Call of the Community and just how many people are, are really, I mean, truly overjoyed by it. And it, that makes me happy. Honestly, it really does. So guys, thank you all so much for coming out and being a part of this. If uh, you haven't heard about the event yet, on January 22nd, there is a live tournament, Call of, uh, Call of Duty tournament. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully we'll raise $100,000 or so uh, that's our goal. I, I don't know if we'll reach it or not, but that's, that's kind of the goal. If uh, if we do get the the people involved that said they would donate, then uh, we, we should be at least close to it. So that's the goal. And if we can bring in a lot of great people, we'll be able to uh, continue on. And as you see, I'm actually uh, I'm about to get past there. I didn't realize that those couple of corners I completely biffed almost got me past. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to keep it together here and uh, not fail. I'm going to go ahead and jump that corner once again. I really have to float that nose whenever I do that. It's really sketchy. But uh, here we go again. I am leading coming into the fifth lap and final lap, fifth and final lap here in just a moment. Still leading this group. And I actually really like the way this Holden drives. It's very heavy. Uh, it drives like, a, like an old muscle car with a little bit more uh, balance and control, less sway, but uh, still has that kind of that heavy push to it. And here we have to slow this thing down because this is the corner that bites me in the booty every single time. And I mean, I'm, I slowed that thing down more than I thought any human could ever slow something down, and apparently it was not enough. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut this corner right here through the sand, 19 miles an hour. We're gonna get past right here because I'm an idiot and did not try to get it together. That's okay though. We're in third place. I can get these last two guys. I still have time. I know where I can pass them. I know I can get them on that back straight. There's no question at all. I just have to make sure I get there in one piece without wasting my way, wasting my speed again. Because this is the place I have to pass right here, guys. This is it. If I don't pass them here, it is over for me. But I know they're going to slow down coming down around these corners. And hopefully, I'll be able to catch them right here. There's one. And hopefully, I'm able to keep the speed up through this. Got the pass right there. Got the pass. Hopefully, I can keep the speed right here. And slowing it down. Oh my gosh, that was the sketchiest thing anyone should ever do right there, guys. Holy crap and for frijoles. But as you guys can see, we did make it through first place, first race. And uh, my car looks pretty crappy, I'm not going to lie. That, that looks really bad. <laughs> but what a beautiful track. That was fun to race. And uh, whew, I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of breathing hard. But we're almost to level 24, which is nice. And we've got those holding reward points now. Hopefully those will be pretty good for us as we move forward uh, into this next race. I'm excited to see what we do, whether we use the same thing. Uh, or if we decide to uh, switch up to a different car. So we'll see what happens. That's the European Sedan Challenge. I could put it in the event. Heck, yes, I did. Here we go. Oh. I'm not excited about this. I'm really not excited about this. Look at this track, guys. This track is chaos. It's not what I'm good at. I'm genuinely not excited about it whatsoever. But uh, I think what we're going to have to do here is go ahead and... GTR Spec V, uh, let's see here. I do not want to use that at all. Oh my gosh. Let me go ahead and switch cars. We're going to change cars. I think we're going to go ahead and try to get ourselves in a vehicle that will hopefully be able to at least somewhat compete with these guys because you have to realize they're going to have all-wheel drive vehicles going uphill and downhill as fast as they possibly can. And at this moment right now, I don't have anything that really has the ability to compete with them, uh, at least not selected. So I'm going to look over here for, I think, the Evo. I think the Evo is my best choice at this point uh, just because it is all-wheel drive and my... Uh, Let's see here. Yeah, I think my Skyline. Yeah, the Evo or the Skyline, either one will be good. I personally think I prefer the Evo because it does have a bit more uh, affinity toward going up and down hills. I do seem to do pretty well with that. So we'll go ahead and do that really quick. See what we're able to do with this Evo and uh, hope and pray that we're able to pull it off. But as we go ahead in the expert division, climbing into race number three, up and down a mountain. This is my least favorite track in the experience I've had in Forza thus far. I'm just not very good at it, but we're at Fujimi Kaido. It's a mountain pass and chances are it will be a bit, well, crazy. So I like my Evo. I think it's pretty. I mean, pretty. I, I think it's pretty. I can't speak, but I really do think it's pretty. And that's cool, I guess. So here we are, and uh, hopefully this thing loads eventually. We talked about in the past how, how slow this thing is to load, but that's that's all part of it, I suppose. You know, it's it's a slow loading game. It's a pretty game, but it's slow darn loading. Fujimi, Japan, late afternoon, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, climbing this freaking crazy dark and bah, I hate this mountain. It's, it's awful. It's too much for me. But we're going to go ahead and start the race and hope that it's... Uh, 
it's not just a crash fest because I've been doing pretty well the last the last three races I've won so I, I feel pretty confident about that and uh, hopefully you guys have more faith in me now because I'm, I'm playing better and uh, came off the line a little bit too slow there but it's okay though I am rocking out a really tight turn up here and we'll see if I get ahead of a Prius if I can't beat past a Prius Oh, that's right. This this is the track that has the multiple different uh, models of vehicles on the road. Uh, we'll go ahead and get past this GTR as he's trying to pass that. That puts me in first place of two, 9% left, and literally hitting every possible wall. Uh, I need to slow things down here, play a little bit less aggressively, and hope slash pray that I stop sucking because there are a lot of cars on this road and I make me nervous. So I need to slow things down. Not rely on the power of my vehicle as much. Try to rely more on the power of my braking and the ability to go around a corner smoothly because that's the only thing that's going to keep this pretty well balanced for me. But as you guys can see, I am pretty far ahead right now of that GTR. I haven't seen him in quite a while. And right now, I'm going to use this Versa. Nissan Versa. Nissan Versa. If that's a hero shout out, by the way. If you guys liked Heroes, let me know. I love that show. I haven't watched the last season of it because I heard it was really bad and the previous season I wasn't a fan of. So season one of Heroes... Is some incredible television, though. It really is. I mean, I don't watch a lot of TV, but that is some incredible television. It really, really is. So here I'm trying to just keep myself a little bit smoother, uh, going downhill right now and trying to take these inside lines when I can because I have those cars to kind of balance out, allow me to bounce off them a little bit, which is really mean and cruel and horrible and cost the world millions and millions of pretend dollars. But you know what? It's all right. It's not all about money in the world, right, guys? Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. He trapped me against the wall. And that GTR is gaining on me. Oh, gosh. I didn't even realize that. And I'm going to hit the wall right here out of pure fear and nervousness or something. Hit that A bar, A button as hard as I could right there. Try to kick the rear out and do the same thing again, but I'm actually going to fail. That was a bad decision. GTR right on my tail now. I'm going to try to do what I can to put the cars in his path. Into the wall. And he gets by. Daggummit, that GTR is good. 68% remaining here, guys. I've led for so long, I wasn't even paying attention to how close he might be. And that did get me knocked out. So hopefully I'll be able to catch up here, get past, and uh, stop sucking. That would be very nice, wouldn't it, guys? So coming through the tunnel right here, this is my favorite thing to do on a motorcycle is come through tunnels when it's really nice and loud. You can catch, just catch that beautiful sound of the exhaust going through. It, there's very few better sounds in the world, I'll have you know. It's really just a beautiful thing. Right there, really aggressive push again. Driving like a total tool, uh, hitting everything I can to try to slow him down, and uh, yeah, it's it's a mean mean way of going about things. But you know what? It worked. I got past him. I have 89% remaining. I'm going to do all that I can right now to try to keep ahead for this win with just 7% left now in this race. It's important to me to get past. It's important to me to go ahead and get a win here, and uh, I'm going to lose the game right here. There we go. I slowed him down, got him blocked off, got him blocked off, and I got the win right there. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Me backing into him. <laughs> wow. I realized I was that close to the finish line. Me backing into him there just saved me the race. I am the biggest Forza tool in the world. I feel like a dirtbag. I really do. I feel like a twat. I feel like the biggest jerk. I should probably stop using all these different slang terms. But I, I feel like a jerk. I'm sorry to whoever that was that I just hurt their feelings. That was really mean. But we'll go ahead and get our free car here and go ahead and move forward into the next episode after that because I'd like to see what we have to attain and then what we can drive next because obviously I like the Evo. I hate that track. It's just not my style. But here we have some nice cars. Uh, the R6, hmm, CTSV, E63, RS6, or XFR. I actually don't know anything about the XFR. Right now, I'm leaning toward the Audi just because Audis have a, have all-wheel drive, which you know kind of caters to my style of driving. The AMG E63 has so much power and so little traction control, it'd be infuriating. Uh, CTS-V, same situation. It's an American car. It's not designed for either creature comfort or for good handling. And for me, I need handling because I need all the help I can get. So we'll go ahead and modify this puppy right here. I actually think we might go with the green. I don't have very many green cars and I feel like that might be kind of a nice shift from all the blue in my my little car library. So we'll go for that green. The Hunter green is gorgeous and that will give us a new Audi to start getting things going. So that should be very good. And here we go. Congratulations, we completed the event. That will move us over here and we'll let you introduce the next episode. Motegi. 
All right, guys, that will be episode number 22 coming up next. Thank you so much for watching this. As always, we'll look forward to hanging out with you all soon. See you later. Bye-bye.